Movement isn't just an essential form of expression for me. I converse through my body. Often we are taught to contain and restrict our natural selves. It may seem to you like I'm dancing with my hula hoop, but what's really going on feels more like a dance with my subconscious self. In many ways, finding my flow has been more about letting my flow find me. Some days I'm all sparkle and glitter. Some days I'm purple and blue. There's so much freedom in just knowing that my body can't lie and all that I express through movement is my purest way of speaking my truth. Self-expression through hula hoops? In India? Not all women here get this as a choice. I owe so much to my privilege, to the art I was surrounded by while growing up. But I've watched this circular toy give confidence to other women in ways I didn't know were possible. So it can't be all up in my head, right? I stumbled upon a video of someone hula hooping on the internet, enjoying and having a blast while doing it. And I was just hooked. It's so funny to know that I may have come a full circle with that. That people have maybe watched my video in the same way. So the sari, what does it really mean to me? Up until 2020, this question would not have crossed my mind the way it does now. But just like the pleats of the sari, there are so many layers to uncover what this piece of cloth signifies to the people of India. To some it's just culture, to others liberation. To me, I think a sari has flow written all over it. Sundaram. Varanya, I am.